everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. I did two shaves yesterday, they haven't uploaded yet. My internet's gone to shit again, so they're still uploading from yesterday. And more than likely, there'll be three videos that just pop on, maybe even four, if they don't get their act together. I'm sick of this internet at the moment, it's doing my head in. Barrister and man, Le Grand Chepre, the big Cypress, I think it is, or the, the great Cypress, the big Cypress. Now, this is citrus, moss, and resins. It's just a gorgeous cologne scent. There's a bit of citrus. There's definitely some sort of, I'm assuming the, the resins is like an amber and think there's an amber sort of scent that I get. And then just a, it's like a hint of floral through it. It's quite a dark scent, but it's also a light, it's fruity, a very complex. But it smells outstanding. I wish I had the splash to go with it. I will get it one day. Brush, Morrison Fondren, three band, 28mm Blonde Badger, just shake out most of the water there, so that looks pretty much like that. As you can see on the back they are made in England, handmade in England, Blonde Badger. So this was actually turned and not hand tied by Lee Sabini. Now, obviously not his best work because this knot sheds like mad, but still, considering I've lost over a hundred hairs in this knot, it's still a very, very dense knot. Right, so let's straight into the soap. I'm gonna need a bit of water actually, just on the tips, just to get me started. Oh, I can get the scent coming out already. Scent strength on this out the tub's a good five. Scent strength when it's lathered up from memory was up around about a seven. Oh yeah, easy. I can actually smell it. Well, I'm loading over here. I can still smell it coming out the top. Now, this is the Glissant formula from Barrister and Man. I find I can load this one a little bit longer than the Reserve. The Reserve, I only need a sort of 10 second load. Any more than 10 seconds and I'm adding water for the next half an hour. So. Just go with that. Now, I've been having a bit of problems with some residual slickness issues in my recent shaves and I don't know whether it's because I've just not quite nailed the natural hairbrush yet or whether it's I'm adding too much water while I'm using the natural hairbrush because these obviously they hold a lot more water in them than, you, than a synthetic does. Right that's the brush loaded. As you can see there's quite a bit in the tub there as well so I'll wet my face. water shave today. And I've got two hairs in the tub which have obviously come out of the knot because there was no hairs in the tub <laughs> when I started. Yeah, so it's easily my most disappointing knot. The, probably the best knot I've ever used, but the worst knot at the same time for its shedding. And one of the new guys to the channel that's, well, new to watching my channel anyway, that appears to be quite new to wet shaving, he's just sort of started it all, was asking where's the best place to buy stuff I think he said in the UK and I've sort of recommended shaving station agent shave executive shaving and then there's Canuck shaving online gifts and care in the UK and Europe from out of Spain they've got good great shipping rates as well I know people say keep it local but the problem is I know myself keeping it local sometimes as much as you want to help the small business and I totally agree I've got a small business myself a small business locally we should pay a premium and when money's tight and you're struggling you've got to try and get what's best financially just give the brush a massive dip in the water there because it's really dry
not going to add too much water today, I want to try and use what's in the brush. This don't get much better than that. That's glossy, creamy, phenomenal soap. And the scent is just out of this world. Right, I'm going with the Chevette today for the first pass, then I'll finish off with the DE. So it is the, that's the right way up, Prorasso. There we go. Prorasso and on this part here we can I can focus now. Hopefully without slicing my hands off. Where is it? Hmm. I thought you'd be able to see that. I can't even see on the camera. Maybe you can. It says save the barber 1993. That's because it's on that part. So it's a lovely razor, I can't remember what wood it is, apparently it's handmade in Italy, it looks very similar to the ones that you can get from China, so <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised if it was the ones from China, but Prorasso are a well known company and I wouldn't think they would lie on their website. Right, so here we go, I don't know why I dipped my hands in the water and then expected to chevette shave, so just pulling the skin up a little bit, I don't Brand new, sorry I should have mentioned, Voss Cod Blade in there. And I've also got a Voss Cod Blade in my MG90 which I'll be finishing the shave off with. Definitely an excellent soap. if you're a straight razor shaver or if you use chevettes because it's got amazing slickness I've had a few weepers with the old Chevette, touch wood, haven't cut myself yet, so hopefully that continues with this shave. guys can hear Harry Potter in the background. It's solely my test movie. I've got it running at the moment and as you can hear it's just buffering all the time. Stop, start. It feels like a spot that I might have nicked. It just had a little spot there. Yeah, I just don't. I don't get that close with it.
Right, switch over to the left hand. As you can see, the ladder is lovely and stable. It doesn't dissipate at all, which is great. Strangely and oddly enough, I don't, don't ask me why, using my left hand for some reason has got to be more smoother, or more, more, more smoother, more comfortable than using my right hand. switch over to my right now because I do for some reason I struggle on this part here my left with this section is my hair actually grows this way so it's quite first pass. I do find if you don't use it all the time you become a little bit less proficient with it but I do feel I can pick it up now and use it with both hands reasonably comfortably and a lot quicker than I could in the beginning. Oh, the residual slickness is just phenomenal. It actually takes effort to get it off your hands in the bubble water. Right, let's lather up now. Pass number two. It's probably just a little bit on the thick side, but I'm just going to keep it up because it's phenomenal. So, right, MG90 aluminium head, titanium handle, brand new Voscod blade, which I haven't used a Voscod in ages. I certainly haven't used one in a mild razor for a long time. I 
doesn't even feel like it's cutting. Oh yes, much, much, much prefer a DE over a Chevy. I just prefer the feel in my hand, I prefer the feel in my face, I prefer the less amount of concentration. Soap smells amazing. Definitely one of my favourite Barrister Man scents. a little bit there Yep, good old NBN, which is my internet, National Broadband Network. It's utter garbage. At the moment I'm getting about 1.1 download and 1.3 upload. And this razor, the MJ90, definitely recommend it for those with sensitive skin. 
I do have sensitive skin on my neck and I can literally just buff away for ages with this razor and never cause any issues. Boss Cod Blade feels super smooth. Doesn't feel quite as sharp as say the, the Gillette Nasset or anything like that. Oh, the slickness is just phenomenal. Right. I'm just going to lather up again and stuff it. I'm loving this soap. That's a very thin layer of soap, but I tell you what, the slickness is just off the charts. buffed this area several times and it doesn't feel irritated at all Alright, I'm back. I had to take a quick phone call there, so I've rinsed off, washed my brush and washed my soap out. So I'm going to finish off now with some Shea Moisture Shave Tea Tree After Shave Bump Preventer. Now this stuff stings like buggery, but it's great. Now there's no alcohol in that at all. But the burn you get, you'd think there was really good, but it's a nice burn. Dries in pretty quick as well, so I'll be able to get on to my next one, which is another sort of splash from Lucky Tiger. Barrister Man Le Grand Chepre, which is just a phenomenal soap, it really is. The soap base itself is across the board shit hot, it's a glissant base and it's just outstanding. So it looks like that. There's your ingredients on the back if you want to have a and it just smells you know I almost get a little hint of cinnamon or something in there as well I really do it's just a beautifully complex but amazing scent it's a lot going on in there and I'm sure everyone would smell something different when they put it to the nose but I just love it the brush for today was the Morrison Fondren three band blonde badger which is a stunning brush I've just dry well wiped it on the towel. I lost probably six hairs during that shave, two in the bowl, in fact I think probably about eight or nine hairs actually, and as I was rinsing it out in the sink there was just hairs falling out left, right and centre, so unfortunately it's not the best brush for that. 
Right, I'm pretty much dried in, so I'm going to pop this on now. Lucky Tiger face tonic. Can have a look on, on the back there as well, see if that focuses. Excellent, excellent stuff. Citrus based scent, and this one is the aloe vera, calendula, and chamomile after shave and face tonic. It's got absolutely zero longevity on the scent. It's got a lovely citrus scent. Yeah, beautiful. But what it does give is it absorbs very quickly and leaves absolutely no, I don't get any residual stickiness or anything on my skin. It just dries in and you just get sort of silky smooth, lovely moisturised skin afterwards. Right, the razor for today, or one of, was the, oh, there we go, <laughs> the Parasso Chivet. There's a little bit. The light's not the best today, I don't think. But it's a great little Chivet. It takes half DE blades, and I've got a half of a Voskog in there. And it was very smooth, I really enjoyed it. Really enjoyed it. I've got a little bit of redness down here today. But that's from using the Chevette, no doubt about it. I don't get it from using these razors. The Razor Rock MJ90, which was tremendous again. Let's see, I've got some redness down here. I've got a little bit of irritation on my cheeks, more so. And it is because I've used this Chevette, no doubt about it. There's no, no way in hell is it happening with those, with those mild razors. I can go all day and not get any irritation from them. Moving on to Shea Moisture Shave T3 and bump preventer, I think it's tea tree aftershave and bump preventer, herbal elixir. This stuff's phenomenal. I don't think I can show you the ingredients, hold on. I'll see if I can get it to focus, but it's very small. Probably not. It didn't look like it focused on shitty. And finished off today with Lucky Tiger, which is excellent stuff, really is. And that, guys, was a cracking shave, which you'll probably upload over the next six days with the internet speed I've got at the moment. So, other than that, you guys, stay safe, drive safe, don't drink and drive. And if you haven't caught Spencer's latest video over at Spence Shaves, it's a Scottish shave. You've got to watch that one. It's like, if you shut your eyes, you can hear Robin Williams doing his Scottish interpretation. So, very, very good and very funny. I did actually really enjoy it. Even the wife enjoyed it, which is surprising. So. Stay safe, drive safe, don't ring and drive once again, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Cheers.